Hi, this is Herb Shapiro with the Dr. Vax channel. And today, we're going to design in FreeCAD a holder for this can of WD-40. Uh, this is the PTFE dry lubrication spray, and I use this quite a bit with my 3D printers. So in order to do that, we're going to make this video a bit differently. I'm going to use the overlay style, the picture-in-picture -picture style, where I will be smaller in the corner. And the reason I'm trying this, to be able to produce more of these videos more quickly, I want to be able to do a bit less editing. So please leave me some comments below about whether you like this style of video and it works for you. So now stay tuned and let's learn something together. If we look at the screen here, we'll see that I am using FreeCAD version 0.19. And this is the most recent version. I literally downloaded it, I don't know, a couple hours ago. So you can see the build version I'm using. Now, there are a number of reasons your version of FreeCAD would look different. The first is, make sure you've selected the part design workbench as your starting workbench. And also, make sure you can see all of the toolbars. So you'll notice I can drag a toolbar around. Well, if the toolbar is too far off to the side, you won't be able to see it and you won't be able to find the icons that I'm using. You can also right click on the toolbar and ensure that all of these sub toolbars are checked so that you can see them. Now, this is not a beginner's tutorial. There are a whole series of those on the channel. I'll link a playlist for you. So I'm gonna do some things quickly because you've already learned how to do these. So let's go ahead and we're in the part design workbench, create a new document and create a body and create a sketch. And as you recall, you need to create a sketch on a plane. We're gonna put this on the XY plane. You could either select it here or select it here and XY plane and click OK. Now, the first thing we need is we need a cylinder to hold this. So a cylinder is an extruded circle. There are a number of ways we could do that. I'm going to do that with a pad in FreeCAD. So I'm going to go over here and select a circle. I'm going to hover over the origin and draw it out here. And then I'm going to right click to release the tool. Now, how big are we going to want to make this? Well, we're going to make this, oh, I don't know. Let's make this, this is about 65 millimeters. We'll make it 70 millimeters. We'll give us a little bit of space. So I'm going to click over here on the constraint select diameter, click this circle, and set it to 70 millimeters in diameter. So that's going to be the base. So let me go ahead and close that. And now I could pad that. And how high do we want this to come up on here? I don't know, let's make it about 60 millimeters. And we now have the beginning of our model. Now, you'll notice it's not hollow. We're going to handle that later. And the reason we're going to handle that later is we want to hollow out multiple components. I'll show you what I mean in a second. We need to attach this to a wall. Well, I could put holes inside of that tube, but they're going to be hard to get to. So I'm going to put a flange around the outside of that tube. So I'm going to go back to model here. I'm going to click on create a sketch. I'm going to create another sketch on my XY plane. I'm going to go over here to model and I'm going to turn off this pad, but I wanna make sure this sketch here is enabled. So I click on sketch and I hit spacebar to make it visible or hidden. Likewise, the pad visible or hidden. I want the pad hidden, but I wanna be able to see the sketch. Now I'm going to go back to my sketch and we're going to draw a rectangle more or less along the back here. And then I'm going to right mouse click to turn off the tool. 
Now let's take and dimension this. So we're going to select this point and control or command, depending on whether you're on a Mac or a PC, this point. And let's make it, oh, five millimeters deep. Okay. Now, we know that this circle was a given dimension. So let's actually, I'm going to actually go back there and look for a second. So in this first sketch, if I double click on that sketch, we made that 70 millimeters. So 35 millimeters to the back. Okay, so I can close that, go back to my new sketch, and we're going to take this point right here and command select this point and add a dimension of 35. So that's gonna line that up with the back there. Now, I want this to be centered, so I'm going to take this point and this point here and this axis, and I'm going to put a symmetric constraint on. And now we want to define the size so I'm going to take this point and this point here and put a horizontal dimension. Oops, I selected too many points. This and this, there we go. And it was 70, so we're gonna make this a little wider so there's room to get our screwdriver. So let's make it five millimeters on each side. So let's make this 80. Okay, so that's now constrained. So now I can turn this sketch on or off. I can turn this pad on or off, but I have the sketch back here. So we're gonna select sketch number one and let's go ahead and pad that. And, uh, oh, I don't know. I think if we come up hundred millimeters, it will work nicely. So I'll have that come up hundred millimeters. So now we have the beginning of our object. And this will work nicely. We'll be able to see the top of the can. We have something to attach it to the wall, but we have to hollow this out. So how are we gonna hollow it out? Well, another sketch, but this time we're gonna use a pocket instead of a pad. So we're going to create one more sketch on the XY plane. Same thing we did before. And where it's gonna go inside here. But let's turn that uh, first pad off. Oops, actually we'll turn this one off and make sure this sketch is visible. Here we go here, this sketch is visible. So now we can see all of the sketches. We're gonna put a circle inside here. So we're gonna select our current sketch. We're going to select the circle tool, align it also with the origin, that way they're all the same and Let's see here, let's make this one. This has to be at least big enough for this to fit. So we'll make it 67. So let's go to our dimension tool, diameter dimension, and we'll make that 67. And now we've defined the wall and the inside cut. So we can go ahead and close this. We can turn our pad back on so we can see our model. We can select this sketch and now we're going to select to make a pocket. And this is a hundred and we want it to come all the way up because the can is going to sit right along the back there. So let's make this 100 and we can't see anything. So if you can't see anything, you're probably going in the wrong direction. So let's reverse that. And there we go. We're all ready now. And let's click OK. So it looks like we have our bracket, except for a couple screw holes we're gonna put in the back. But not quite, because let's rotate this up and then push it up so we can see. And oh my goodness, that's not gonna hold the can very well. So how do we fix that? Well, we fix that and let's put it just like this so we can see it now, by moving the pocket up. So we have a hole 
and we have a can, we have an inside hole, we have to move it up higher. So let's go to this sketch right here that the pocket's on, and we're going to change the attachment point. So we're going to move it up, uh, we'll make it five millimeters, give it a five millimeter base. Click tab, and bam, now it's solid. And the reason it's solid is because we just moved it up. Okay, so now we're pretty much ready, except that we want to put holes in the back. Now the problem is that the plane we've been drawing on is a horizontal plane. We want to put holes on a vertical plane. So let's go ahead and turn on our origins for a minute so we can think about this. And you can see here, let's move this over a little bit so you can see it, that the XZ plane looks about where we want to put this. But there's a problem with that because if we rotate it, the XZ plane, if we see right here, this plane is not on this back wall. So I guess we can make the hole really deep and get that to work, but why don't we put a plane right on this back wall? Well. In the old days, we used to click on that wall and then draw right on it, right on that surface. But there's a bug in 0.19 of FreeCAD. I think it was introduced before that. And the bug basically says that when you edit a sketch and then you repad, some of the internal names get changed. And that causes things you put on a object on a surface to change. Because if you put a sketch on a surface and the surface name changes, it's not gonna be attached to the right place. So let's create what's called a data plane right there. So how do we do that? We can click on this icon here that says create a data plane. And let's expand this out a little bit. And we're going to select this plane because it's going to be parallel with that plane. But we don't want it there. This yellow line here is our data plane. We want to move it back. So we're going to move its attachment point. Now this gets a little tricky because the data plane is vertical like this. But from its perspective, it's flat. So we want to move it back, but from its perspective, we're moving it up. Yeah, I know. That hurts my brain also. So just trust me. And if we want to move it back, we're going to change the z-axis direction. And we're going to make that minus 25, and it will move it back there. But that, if we remember, it shouldn't be 25. It should be uh, minus 35, I believe, if I remember correctly. And that's too much. Minus 30, and the reason is that it was a 70 millimeter circle, but the plane comes five up, so I think it minus 30 is the right place, and that visually looks correct, and we can see it's in the correct place now. So now we're going to close this data plane, and now we're going to create a new sketch. Now, if you have the data plane selected, it'll create it right on that data plane, but if you just say create a sketch, it will give you the choices just like it did before. We could select the data plane manually or we could select it over here and say, okay. So now we're drawing on that back data plane. So we wanna put a hole somewhere around here and somewhere around here. So let's select the circle tool again. And I'm going to rough these in. I'm gonna put one there and I'm gonna put one here. And I'm not paying any attention to the size of the hole. Why? Because I'm not going to use a pocket to create the hole. I'm going to use the hole tool. Now the hole tool, we'll see in a second. And we can rotate this around just a bit. Now the hole tool, this tool right here, is designed to create holes for fasteners. It's really a very powerful tool. So I'm going to select the hole tool. Let's expand this out so we can see it. And I'm going to create a metric regular profile for an M4 screw. And this is really very cool. I'm going to countersink it. 
All of that with one tool. So now I can go ahead and say OK. Move this back. Let's turn off this data plane. And we can see here that I now have a hole that's smaller on the back, bigger on the front because it's countersunk. And we can actually turn off our origin, hit spacebar, and we have our completed bracket. Well, you learned how to use multiple sketches on the same plane. You learned how to create a data plane. You learned about the pocket tool and the hole tool in this video. If this worked for you, if you learned a lot, please make sure you subscribe to this channel because that's how you'll learn about more videos. Click on the bell and you'll get an automatic notification. If you wanna talk about this video, feel free to leave comments here on YouTube, but I run a free forum called forum.drvax.com where there are a bunch of really friendly people, over 1,200 people now, that exchange ideas and you can actually post pictures, you can post models there that'll let you really interact about how to create exciting models in FreeCAD. Thanks for watching and let's continue to learn together.